It's on his bucket list. It is. And we I gotta wanna, find a way to do it. I want to go 2,500 miles an hour. I want to feel. <laughs> I just want to feel like that. <laughs> and then just. Guys, welcome back to uh, our weekly installment to uh, In Front of One Buck. I'm going to change the location and the name of this every single time we shoot this. So today we're in an abandoned warehouse with a bunch of construction trailers. And yes, we did move these chairs from my office all the way over here. Did it was we? A, or were they here? You don't even know. I was here before the chairs were here. <laughs> all these guys are essential, so we can't say anything about these trucks. And to the title to today's video, yes, I am selling my Bugatti, but no, not the one behind me. And also, even though it is for sale, not the Mansori one. So you're telling me you have three? Currently we have, I have two and a half. Okay. I'm selling the half of a Bugatti that I've got back there. And if anybody references the video that I made of unboxing my Bugatti, it's all the body panels to the Mansori car. The Mansori car was really, 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 really cool. And it's really cool that it actually came with all the stock parts. So I've got fenders and uh, I have everything. I There's mean, everything there. Bumpers, it's the whole car. It is. The only thing that's not included are the doors. That's true, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I even have, um, I even actually have a whole crap ton of spare Bugatti parts that I always thought to, I would need one day, but I've got headlights and tail lights. I've got rear axles, front axles. Those I'll probably need. Yeah, eventually. Definitely need the axles. Yeah, uh, it was a lot of work to get them. So brake calipers, brake discs, uh, hubs. I've got uh, spare wheels and tires. Say spare wheels and tires. Um, I need that one. I've got a whole bunch of things. So, anyways, that's for sale for the low price of one hundred forty-nine thousand dollars. Basically, all you need is an engine and a windshield. <laughs> you got yourself a Bugatti. Truthfully, if anybody really wants to know, I, I actually thought that it would be really cool for somebody to take those body panels and put them on an Audi R8 because the first generation Audi R8 is actually so close to the exact wheelbase of this car, like literally within millimeters, all right? Really? Yeah, it's, oh. it's less than a half an inch. It's about one third or one, yeah, one third of an inch difference from this. And you can make those adjustments in just by putting a, just a little spacer in the hub assemblies to move the wheelbase a little bit. So I actually feel but you can make an OEM fake Bugatti out of those parts. I was gonna say you can make you can make a Bugatti, not the whole Bugatti. Yeah, uh, a for two hundred thousand. I would say probably because you can get an RA for like fifty G's, and then I think it's costs you like one fifty. Oh, you can get a V ten, so you'd have a V ten Bugatti basically. Nothing wrong. With but if you got no, if you got the V eight Bugatti, do that one. Do the V eight because it would be exactly half of the W sixteen because it's probably the same engine. You got half the panels. <laughs> So <laughs> you're winning. The windshield and the doors <laughs> and all that stuff I think would line up pretty good. We actually talked about it one day, but first of all, I don't need any more projects. And that brings me to my next point. All of my projects are for sale. Because <laughs> I am I need a razor sharp focus right now. Um, we're about to launch one of the largest campaigns we've ever launched ever. Uh, the Corvette giveaway did not go down. So we are going to definitely launch something way freaking cooler and I'm Wait. gonna just say a big F you to the, the, the dealership that screwed our giveaway up and I'm gonna basically say, I'm doing the best giveaway ever. So that giveaway is gonna come soon. We're hitting 500,000 subscribers soon. I definitely wanna make it some real, I wanna put some real power behind it. The only problem is once we do this 500,000 subscriber giveaway, when we hit a million, we're screwed. Not really. No, we're so Not really. Stupid if, if screwed. The, the magnitude of the giveaway, you're just like, once you hit a million subscribers, you're like, oh man, I can see the correlation with that. You guys will see once you hit 500,000 subscribers. No, we're gonna do it before that. It's oh. just gonna be, cause I don't wanna like wait, right? Just like when I bought the Koenigsegg, I was like, I want 700,000. And then I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna wait. I'm just gonna buy the stupid car. Yeah, I'm just walk out with the car now. So uh, my, just to reference what I got for sale, Mario's got the eBay links there. You guys don't have to buy it. I just thought I would tell you about it. Uh, we got the, the, the half the Bugatti, we got the boat. <laughs> um, I've got my fire damage Gallardo, that orange one that we use on the strip. That one's actually a really good price. I know. The price of that one, that's that's solid. For what's, what's the price? To, did you want me to tell them my price or did you want me to tell them their price? Their price. Their price. 40000 It's actually 39000 See? So your price is there. <laughs> I put your price. <laughs> this is 
Uh, yeah, for 40 grand, you can get a Gallardo. <laughs> it does have a salvage title. Because uh, I actually bought it salvage title. If you, you could follow, there's a whole long story in that car. When you guys are new to the channel, just, just do some back work and watch it. But uh, it got burned out. <laughs> and I fixed it, but I did put an interior and engine in it. And we were putting on the strip, but I don't really want to go on the strip anymore with the Gallardo. I want to level it up. I'm kind of thinking to put our Red Huracan on display. It's uh, It just crossed 200,000 miles almost. It's and nice, I think it's nice just time. Me. I think it's just time to, to, to just get out there and really just level up our display cars. We've got the Mercy, oh, but maybe we should cool. go a Aventador now. You know? Hey. So it just we're just going to go into this 2020, the summer, just going crazy. Right. Uh, my original Lamborghini that I bought. First one ever for rent. It was a 2006 Gallardo Spider. It's charcoal gray with a red interior. It actually only has 30,000 miles. Yeah, it's a really nice um, car. Super, super nice car. And I've had that for a display car inside the mall for a long time. It was wrapped baby blue, but I unwrapped it. I put it on eBay. It has a broken engine. It needs to have an engine rebuilt. Um, I have all the necessary parts to rebuild it. I just, there's no engine shops in Vegas that are open right now. So if you guys know engine work, that car I put 77,000. Yeah. And the retail value of that car is over 100. So, you know, that's, that's a, a really good yeah, deal, no, that's too. A, that's a very nice car. It's been wrapped probably the majority of its life. The paint looks life. great. Yeah. Um, I was very surprised on how the paint looked when I when I helped unwrap it, but it looks it looks amazing. So Super nice car. So then that would get rid of, that would have uh, two Lotuses left right. and then my hypercars. So I think we're going to keep the hypercars. Yeah. Um, and uh, my one Lotus is Nardo Gray. I got that one doing pretty cool. I'm just waiting for the engine. That engine's already at the machine shop, so it's going to be whenever it comes. And then my orange Lotus, I don't think I'll sell that one. If I did, I have to sell for like eighty or hundred grand. It's too much. Here he goes. You know, eighty or hundred grand. It's too much. Like what? I have I have like a million dollars in that car. All right, so out of all I've these, been building that load. Out of all these cars, years. how many miles have you driven on all of them? You personally? I don't even think Projects. you've hit ten. Projects. Man. I haven't even hit ten Projects. miles in my car. So, <laughs> you guys so, have some great opportunities. Mario's gonna put the links all in the description for the eBay links. Um, they're all great cars. Uh, if you're looking for a project, two Gallardos, which is always nice. One a little bit more so than the other. But uh, the coupe's nice. The coupe is. Yeah. So is the spider. It is. It is pretty nice. Uh, all right. In uh, less positive news, the I don't know if you remember, but you know the blue Huracan Le Mans was the last Huracan 580 spider produced, basically. I do. Oh, well, sorry, the last 580 coupe uh, coming to America or something. If you watch our video, we talk about it, it's the last 580. It's dead. It is dead. Dead. What are we? What are we? Did you guys see that video? If not, go watch it. Yeah, it was yesterday's video. Damn. And that's, uh, if you guys can hear it, that's actually Jesse smashing in the 458 because uh, his shop is right over there and uh, looks like he's test driving a customer's car. Probably. It's so, all you guys intense. asking where Jesse is, he's, he's, uh, just, he's, he's actually in the street. Plenty of noise. He's just making plenty of noise right now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, the Blue Lamont Huracan, dead. Yep. That, I mean, dead. Dead. It's got cracks in the frame. Let's take a moment to... So in other news, uh, you guys misunderstood me about that whole like where Oh my thing. goodness. That was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, got, I, I can't read the comments because I start engaging too much and I start fighting everybody. But uh, I, I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm not wearing a mask. I have never worn a mask, and I wouldn't wear a mask, uh, even if there was like some crazy thing going on, like it was a real, real, real thing. I wouldn't wear a mask because I'm not, I don't live my life in fear. That's why I'm, I'm spending a lot of money and doing my things and building my business. And everybody's having fun, driving Bugattis. That's my life, right? But so you took it the wrong way. I said everybody's already wearing a mask who's scared has to continue to be scared because it's always going to be something that's going to kill you. So I'm on the side of where a lot of this stuff is uh, manufactured and I don't really believe in it. And we here at Royalty Exotic Cars have uh, been very positive about the outcomes yeah. of our society. And we are on the fence. We're 70, 30, I'm 70% that we're going to have a major economic boom and 30% that we're just going to stay in these seats and talk on this camera forever. I'm on the 70% side. I'm here for the boom. I think the boom is real. I think, I think the boom is. is a real thing. I think in China, it's a different culture. Americans are in this position because Americans don't save their money in the first place. They don't. So now that, um, I'm not saying that the, the 1200 or all the unemployment money, that's not important, but now that they're like been in prison for 60 days almost, I think they're all just gonna ravage, dude, and just go travel everywhere. Because literally May 1st, if they open up- Why wouldn't you? Hawaii, for me, I'm going to Hawaii. Yeah. Right? And so that actually leads me into another point. We at Royalty Exotic Cars know 
that travel will be relatively limited uh, in the first six months and that would bring us into the winter which is already another limitation so we've decided to go to you and we're going to open up three locations in the next six months they're going to be small they're not going to be major like our spot here and not major like what we were planning originally but we're going to do instead of having one nice new location in hawaii we're going to do three small locations now hawaii is still on the table but we got to fill out hawaii's tourism because you have to yep. take a plane to go to hawaii yeah so we don't necessarily know if that's going to be the first one off the bat but uh we're going to go uh dallas texas two Southern California locations, which would be kind of considered one. We're just gonna split them. One Santa Monica, one Newport Beach. Yep. And then uh, we're thinking about Miami, so. I think I think they're all perfect locations for us. Um, a lot of our customers come from those places already. Yeah. So we'll be able to explore those different demographics and just get you guys back in cars, get you guys back in the swing of things, so to speak. I mean, yep. living your lives. How many YouTube videos can you watch while you're in quarantine and lockdown, so. I've watched them all. I've actually become a fan of, um, some some a uh, very unique uh, channels. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like I'm learning so much stuff. I'm really the big into airplanes right now. <laughs> I follow this dude Sam Chu. He just flies around on every damn jet in the world. He's like the, he's he's awesome. He just goes everywhere and just flies on jets like in the, the most luxurious this, ones ever. Listen, this is this is one of the things. So he flew on a two hundred million dollar private jet. Speaking of jets and all that stuff, if any one of you has a hookup to where Houston can fly in one of those like F-16s or something, I'll pay just whatever. to make him like pass out anything. I just want to pass out. Just. <laughs> it's on his bucket list. It is. We I gotta wanna, find a way to do it. I want to go 2,500 miles an hour. I want to feel. <laughs> I just want to feel like that. <laughs> and then just my neck just like. I just want to see, see him pass out. <laughs> we have a bet to see how long I can last. Yep. <laughs> so, um, anyways, yeah, and then so <laughs> that's pretty. That's interesting. You yeah, say that. We've actually been very, very fortunate that um, we've gotten some really unique content in the past week. Right, with a lot of accidents, unfortunately accidents, but it's been very unique. Yeah. And I think that if we continue to expand, you know, we'll become like one of those like, uh, 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 reality TV shows. Oh. That's really, I don't watch it. Was, that was shot in the dark. But, uh, um, okay. So, one of the things that we were looking at uh, with traveling around is the RV. Oh yeah, okay, so check this out. This is pretty cool. Um, I was literally in process of buying like this crazy $600,000 RV that had a two car garage built into it. And it was really, really cool. But then obviously we couldn't, I just didn't think it was a smart idea to continue to buy that. So I'm gonna rent an RV. If anybody's got a really badass RV out there, I wanna rent it and go on a cross country tour with the Bugatti and the Koenigsegg and probably like two other cars on a, on a trailer. We got like yeah. an enclosed three car trailer or four car trailer, whatever it fits in there. And I think it's gonna be really cool if we go and do all that stuff, right? And just go to Dallas when we open, you know, go out to Miami, go out to Atlanta, Georgia, yep. get out there and talk to people and have these cool events, right? When we first come back up. And that obviously state permitted and all this stuff, and if we're allowed to do all that, whatever. But I think it'd be really cool to do like a vlog with the three of us, right? Me, Tony, Mario, Atwood, and just drive across the country. That's right. As soon as you softies on the East Coast, open back up and we'll make it happen.